that's a shot of the the whole robot from the rear it's getting pretty tall now with the head on place in, in place um so some changes since the last video you'll have to excuse this camera because <clears throat> i went ahead and I've got the 4K camera now on the robot, so I'm having to film with this cheap webcam, so I apologize. It's kind of shaky. Um, I've cleaned up the top here with these connectors. It looks a lot better than the terminal blocks. Um, got the, uh, this is the, this is uh, the broker Raspberry Pi uh, in the MQTT uh, setup. But it's also running the Vision uh, Python script for the 4K camera. So I'm going to try to demonstrate that now. It's, I'm really amazed at how well this is starting to work together. And it's all over the Wi-Fi. This Raspberry Pi, in fact, all these uh, Pis, the Pi Zeros and the Raspberry Pi, uh, 4B, that's the broker, and also running the vision. Everything's on, everything's communicating over Wi Fi. Um, even my, even from my, um, my desktop here, uh, my Linux desktop. So everything's on the Wi Fi. There's no cables, um, between this setup. So that's what's really cool because everything's, communicating over with this MQTT protocol. So I've got, I do have a cables right now for, um, this thing is set up to run as a headless unit, but it still has the desktop environment loaded. So I've got the uh, HDMI cable and a keyboard and mouse. And I let me switch it over. Okay, so so right now this is the uh, broker that we're looking at, and let me check. See, okay, so I'm gonna start the. Um, okay, so here's my script. Let me make sure you can see it. Sorry, it's a little blurry. So this uh, Vision R3 uh, dot pi, it's running a TensorFlow model. Uh, that's a custom model that I created, um, and so let me run that real quick. I'll start it up. Oops, sorry, wrong keyboard. So you'll see this uh, Python script start. Oh, I forgot. So, so I've already set it up now to where the uh, this guy actually uh, is looking for a um, since he's basically subscribing to a topic called CV, which is computer computer vision. And so the, my Linux box here. Let me switch back. Okay, my Linux box is actually going to run a program that can publish and subscribe to the CV topic. Okay, so I've got a program now that says, so if you want to start the vision, you know, you enter start, that will send a command over MQTT to the broker, and then the broker will then pass that on to the vision uh, program to start the camera. So that's why I hadn't started yet. So if I go back to my my Linux machine, type start. I'm just going to leave that there, and I'm going to switch back to the broker. Okay, so now you're looking at the output from 
the broker here and he's waiting for the command to start so I'm just gonna hit the enter okay he got it so he's now started the vision and you can see it's just looking at the floor so what I've done is instead of teaching it things like cats dogs you know tvs laptops and you know a mouse a keyboard kind of thing that people normally teach with um, their tensorflow setup i went ahead and told it okay learn this whole area as a single object this object basically is you know I've named it, or I've labeled it as floor underscore clear, because right now there's nothing in the floor. So it's actually learned that this is a clear, uh, a clear floor or clear path. That's much, so I've, I've actually made it to where uh, it can now understand or know or recognize uh, block paths versus clear path so it's able to get around or at least that's the idea i'm working toward so right now it says floor underscore clear 0.99.95 that's the confidence level so it, it recognizes this whole area here as a clear path and it's doing it at about Fifteen frames a second. So what's really even cool, cool now? If I go back and I'm going to switch back to my Linux desktop. Okay, look how fast this is. I mean, this is really surprising. So what's happening now is the uh, Pi here, uh, the four B that's running the vision is communicating a uh, or publishing a status to the computer vision topic. This guy over here, my Linux desktop, is a subscriber to the computer vision topic. And so it's actually getting the status of the of the uh, vision pie over here. And it's all over the MQTT uh, network or setup. So look how fast it is i'm really shocked at how quickly these results are able to this is essentially real time because if you go you know if i was i was showing you here see i'm getting like 15 frames a second so i'm actually almost getting the whole the uh, results now oh, crap let me move it back i mean i'm getting almost like 15 15 uh, status me messages a second. This is incredible. This is going to work out really good. Okay, so anyway, getting back to this, um, the TensorFlow stuff. I still want to show you how I did this, uh, how I created my own custom model, which it's really easy. But I want to show you, so I have this, um, I don't know, this is like a container for screws and stuff. I'm going to put it down in the path okay so now this is I've taught the robot or the tensorflow model essentially technically <clears throat> not the robot but the tensorflow model I've taught that okay this is now a block path so if you go back and you look I mean look at that it's incredible and it has a great confidence almost like a pure 100 percent confidence level that the floor is now blocked which it is the robot can't go forward so this is working out incredibly well so the point is is um and instead of like teaching the tensorflow model uh objects which i will get on later and do that i thought man why not just basically say okay this whole image is what I want you to learn. You know, 
this is a blocked image, which I didn't even train it on that. I just trained it on different objects in the past. So it essentially knows it essentially knows now that that's a blocked path, and that's exactly what it's saying. It's blocked. So the idea now is I can teach it to um, turn the head different uh, in different uh, places and look for a clear path, and then orient it, its whole body to that same angle so that it can learn how to get around and move about the house.